All right, I've been wanting to do this dive for a while now, so my buddy Malta and I, we booked a dive on the Sundiver Express. So today we're heading out for either a two or three tank dive, depending on weather. We're supposed to go out and at least dive two oil rigs. I'm not sure what the third dive would be, but it didn't end up happening, so I never found out. On our way out, we saw a lot of these container ships. I asked about them. They said there was some type of labor dispute, so they've been backed up. It was about a 20 minute ride out to our first rig. People had scooters, doubles, singles, wetsuits, dry suits, a little bit of everything out there. The first rig we dove is the Eureka. It sits in about 700 feet of water and there's a cross beam every approximately 60 feet. We dropped down to 60 feet, didn't go deeper than that and took a look at everything. There was lots of life there. The video you're about to see here is from both dives, first on the Eureka, then on the Ellen. I ended up combining video from both dives into one. The first dive on the Eureka was murky and a bit surgy. It wasn't my favorite dive, but the second dive more than made up for it. Here's Malta, about to do the giant stride off the back of the boat, and I'll be falling right behind him. Here we are, all staged and ready to drop. We did hear an announcement being made from the platform on a loudspeaker. Unfortunately, we couldn't understand it. We looked over to our dive boat to make sure everything was okay. It was good, so we headed on down. So we dropped down, the water was nice and blue, and a sea lion hung out with us for a little bit. You could see the bubbles coming up from the divers that dropped before us, so we followed them down. Like I said, the first dive was surgy and the visibility wasn't great. Normally I don't mind surge, but this time it was a bit frustrating. But on the second dive, the surge calmed down and the visibility opened up and it more than made up for it. If you have a fishing license, you're allowed to collect scallops. They got a bunch of them, brought them back to the boat, sliced them up and served them with wasabi. And then we saw this. I don't know if it's a hydra or a jellyfish. Let me know in the comments. But they're collecting scallops and all these fish are around. There's a black rockfish here and a blacksmith as well. Yeah, these are the black rockfish right here. And then there's a blacksmith. But here you can see the scallop. They'd opened it up and kind of taken the meat out of it and the fish were there trying to eat it. There's also all of these brittle sea stars that are floating in the water right now. The fish had kind of pulled them off. On the pillar though, you can see them. It just looks like hair. It's just covered in these brittle sea stars. It's pretty amazing. There's also a lot of these strawberry sea anemones, and then there's a scallop there on the bottom. I believe this is a giant spined sea star. Somebody can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. These guys will eat a lot of the shellfish off the pillars. Here is video from the oil platform Ellen. It's brighter here, visibility is better. You can see the structure so it feels like you're flying over everything. Does anybody know what these yellow fish are? Leave in the comments.
The pink fish on the bottom right there is a female sheep's head. And then this painted green thing coming up from the bottom here. There it is. And a Garibaldi, the orange Garibaldi. I believe these are some small sea anemones. And this was probably my favorite fish of the day, this juvenile flag rockfish. It was just swimming around near these brittle sea stars and strawberry anemones. And something new to me was this pelagic salt. When I would shine my light on it, that filament would light up like a light bulb. And here's this small hydrozoa. It's about the size of a strawberry maybe, maybe a little smaller, and it's related to jellyfish and corals. All right, we're getting near the end of the dive. We're slowly making our way up, working our way up, relaxing, and doing the safety stop. We didn't end up doing the third dive. Apparently there was some weather coming in, so we headed back. It was such a good second dive. I'm glad I did it. And here's the sheep's head they got, some scallops, he said he was going to take them home and saute them up in some garlic and butter. Here was an amazing sailboat we saw on our way back in. 